Hey everyone and welcome back to Techie Anshi. We will discuss various buttons on Tableau dashboard that include navigate, download and reset. Let's first go ahead and start in with the reset button. Now let's suppose you have a dashboard and on the top of the dashboard you have a few set of filters. Once you are applying these filters, the dashboard would show you uh, based on the selection. However, if there are multiple filters and I need to reset them all, I'll have to go into each one of them and then select all, which is a cumbersome process. So what if I could have a simple reset all filters button? That way it would have become easier for me to look at. So let's go ahead and create a simple sheet. We'll first go ahead and create a calculated field, which will be a simple string function. Uh, which will be calling the reset all as a small string inside. So reset filter. I'm just calling this as a reset all filter calculation. And I will just go ahead and pull this into the marks card um, of the text. So let's just pull this into text. As you can see, now I have the text inside. You can fit it to an entire view. And uh, we can just format it a little bit so that it can fit in the center and let's just call it reset all filters bolded and just update the font make it a little bit bigger and just click ok now as you can see this is uh, here and now i just want to have a tool tip which can see if you click on this button then you can reset all the filters so I'll call click on the buttons to reset all the filters and select all. So I'll click OK and now the tool tip is also enabled. Let's call this as reset filter button and we'll head back to our dashboard now. So since I've already created the sheet, I'll just go ahead and pull it next to my filters and I'll hide the title. As you can see the sheets here just give it a little bit background color so that it can stand out uh, there it is now I need to add the action to this particular button so for that I'll go to the dashboard actions now this action is basically a filter action so we need to select filter over here the action needs to run when the reset filter button is selected so in the source reset filter button on selection and the target is my product detail sheet and I want to show all the values for the below selected fields so here in the bottom table you need to select each and every field on which the reset needs to work so all of my filter fields need, need to go in here so as you see region state province city uh, next would be category then we have the segment and finally we will have the order date with that as soon as you reset the filter all it will reset all of these fields and show all values so let's click ok and then just go ahead and click ok again now let's just apply and check if it's working as you can see when i click on it my all in the category is getting selected if i apply a filter for the order date reset all it's applying and we can do this with multiple selections as well so if i do order date as well as city and uh, even if i want to do a state province and then go ahead and click on reset all this will work and reset it to all values so this is a simple reset all filters and you can use a button like this or you can also go ahead and use a simple shape now the shape can be anything as you would want i'll prefer using you know like a proper reset button shape which you can use here so i just have some of these shapes saved already and i'm just going to use that uh, i'll just remove from the label the, uh, the value so that we just have the button over here and that way this looks more like a button and the hover over is enabled so it's always clear that this is to reset so yeah, this is how you'll be able to achieve a reset functionality using a button in Tableau. And that's going to be really helpful. Let's look at download button. 
Now this is a natively available feature in your Tableau dashboard. All that you need to go is do is go to the objects, go to download and then just go ahead and pull it onto your dashboard. This by default sets it to download PDF, but you can go ahead and edit the button and you can select either cross tab, image, PDF or PowerPoint and the button could be an image or a text. So you can switch between the two. Let's just see for now for this one to use a text and you can put a title as you would want. We can have the fonts edited and the colors and everything else is also possible. So you can just update as you would like. You can also have a border around the button and choose a background as well if you need. Now click on OK. Yeah, we can also give a tooltip here similar to what we did to the reset button. So we can just say click on this button to download PDF and then or cross tab and then hit OK. As you can see my buttons available over here and this is ready to use. Again I don't like the grey and orange so I'll just go ahead and uh, update the colors quickly to black font and then we should be good so yeah there we have the download button you can see this functionality work only when you publish the dashboard you can't see this on the tableau desktop so you can just go ahead and use it over there now coming to the third one which is our navigation button now like the download button the navigation button is also an inherent feature in tableau all that you need to do is pull the object navigation and edit the button when you edit the button you can choose where would you like to navigate using this button for now i like to navigate to the overview and have the button as an image this can be any image that you already have and you can choose to have a border background and tooltip similar to the download button so let's just go ahead and add that and then when you hit ok this button is going to take you to the overview page make sure you press the options button on your mac when you are clicking this button to navigate to that particular sheet so as you can see if i press options i am able to navigate to the overview page as well now you can adjust however you would want this to be i like to have it on the top banner of my dashboard so i'm just going to just uh, make some minor layout changes over here so that my home button is on the top right and my reset button is just next to the filters so that should mainly be it let's just make me floating and bring it on the top right corner that way it would give it a navigation feel oh, and i can just go ahead click it to go back to the overview right so with that i'm able to create a navigation button and similarly on the overview page as well i can have another navigation button that can take me to the order detail so let's just also add that again from the objects pane i'm pulling in the button and as you can see the navigation button is now available i can edit this time let me just go ahead and keep it as a text instead of an image so that i can show you how the button can look as a text let me just say it's order details and you can edit as you would want to and again give a tooltip here which can say click on the button to navigate to the order details So now using this particular button, let me just give a background, click OK. Now using this button on top of my overview, I should be able to navigate to order details and using the home button on the order details, I can navigate to the overview. Just make sure you always press the options button on the Mac so that you can click and navigate. Okay with that i think all of the three buttons which are the various types of buttons on the tableau dashboard are now available for you you can navigate you can reset and download using these buttons on your tableau dashboard with that 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. Uh, we'll keep coming up with more such videos in future. So please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. I will see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.